um, this is all good, but made better when the obstacles of the plan are created by our, protag- by our protagonist's stupidity, uh, making him an active participant in the story. You know what I mean? Things aren't just happening around him. It's not just the boss's plans. You know what I mean? He's not, he's not a reactive character in this case. Exactly. It's not I mean. just the boss's plans. It's because of his plan of setting up the other policemen in there that things go wrong. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So because if he hadn't been trying to be clever, Selena would have helped them after this, after the second, that well, would have been the first ambush. Action and reaction. What makes Jackie, oh, it's also about the fight. Action and reaction. What makes Jackie Chan's fights impactful is that we get everything in one shot. We get the action and the reaction. Um, we see a guy get kicked. We see um, the foot connect. We also see him crash into the glass all in one shot. And it looks painful. I, 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 even I was rubbing my shoulder when you see these guys getting nailed. Right. What you see there, there's a nice video that talks about it on YouTube. Every frame of painting you should definitely just subscribe. But um, he talks about how in modern action movies, what they do is they don't show the hit. So what happens is they mm. do this. Mm. And like this is the guy's face. Cut. Right. Cut. And then, and then the guy, and then action. So you get cut, action. Right. Which is crazy. That's how modern movies are shot nowadays. Why? Because no one knows how to fight. So in Jackie Chan movies, you get everything. But and then... That's the thing I don't understand, though. It's... Why don't you guys just find consultants who can come and uh, give you help you with fight choreographies and stuff like that? Right? Look at the Matrix. Took them six months of training for them to get ready. Right. Are you guys busy? Because now Keanu Reeves forever knows martial arts. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. I know that. That is what you said in the Matrix. I know Kung Fu. He actually knows Kung Fu. Yes. Actually, you can... He was training with a broken neck with people. Really? Yes. You must watch the behind the scenes. He's wearing a cast while still doing the training scenes because he had injured himself. Yes. <laughs> yeah. When he was, you know, the Kung Fu one? When he's like, <laughs> thing, I don't, yeah. <laughs> you know, that weird fighting technique in that one, eh? <laughs> <In> the robot. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, this, 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 I don't know what you call it. It's a video of this guy showing the difference between the first Matrix movie and the last one. Because the last one is like, Canaries now. And then yeah. there's like hot noises, right? <laughs> but when he was doing the first one, it's like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked. We learned it because it was, was, you know? I mean, when it accumulates to him doing the... Still one of my favorite moments in a fight where he's doing the... And then um, uh, Morpheus is trying his best to think and it's just getting faster and faster. Right. And finally just... ah. Uh, that is storytelling and fighting combined. That's, that's right one there. of the movies that we need to remember. It was on my list. It's, it's one of the movies that we need to be yeah. absolutely on the list because, again, there's storytelling. And because I would say if there's one negative effect, no, 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 it's actually a negative because technically there is storytelling and fighting here, but yeah. I think Matrix does it on a higher level, like where it's completely in the story, right? But we'll get into that, yeah. I um, think one thing we also need to acknowledge is if these martial arts films didn't exist or if they were not as popular, superhero movies wouldn't be as great as they are today. Ah, dude, yes. I mean, look at Civil War. Yeah, yeah. Civil War, the Batman, so yeah. Batman versus Superman that they have seen wouldn't have been great. Yeah, because I would say Josh Whedon, guy hit hard. Do you know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. basically his martial arts. But when the Rousseau's came in, uh, they gave Captain America a fighting technique. They gave um, T'Challa a fighting technique. Yes. Um, it made sense when Spider-Man was fighting Captain America. It right. made sense when um, Winter Soldier was up there with T'Challa with the knife thing, yes. which was basically a remix of the Scarlet Witch fight, if I'm correct. Yes, in, in yeah. Avengers 1. You're right. You're absolutely right. And I think that's what yeah. people don't uh, take into consideration, that that um, Hawkeye versus Black Widow fight was amazing in Avengers. It was really good. So you could see the Russos were like, okay, we love this. We're going to make it look better than it does now. But this is a brilliant concept. And they, when they used to, remember, remember Winter Soldier as well. We're like, um, Scarlet Witch is basically against Thingajigi and then they do the knife thing. And then they then he tries the same thing against the Chala and it doesn't work because the Chala is just, yeah, no, because the Chala is the Chala, man. Right. Uh, 
Yeah. But yeah, anyway, 